Now we're moving on to the Big 12 Conference. And, uh, Paul, we have six teams going there uh, to the NCAAs representing the Big 12. Oklahoma, Texas, Baylor, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma State. And this could be a banner year uh, for Oklahoma with Blake Griffin, possible overall number one pick uh, for the 2009 draft. Jeff Capel's coach of the year and the diaper dandy quoting Dick Vitale, Willie Warren being uh, uh, the uh, rookie of the year. Yeah, like you say, uh, Warren will probably be the rookie of the year. It gives them a nice uh, outside punch with Griffin in the middle. And Griffin, Griffin's an absolute beast. The guy is unstoppable down low. The numbers he's putting up already is just staggering. Oh, yeah, tremendous, tremendous uh, athlete inside force. He reminds me of a cross between Carlos Boozer and Carl Malone. Yeah, that's a good combination. That's a good uh, description, yeah. Mm -hmm. Texas. Damian James, this guy, he plays like he's seven feet, but he's only like six six. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah I, I cannot wait to see those two guys go at it. Uh, Damian James is a great defender. Um, looks like A.J. Abrams is having no no trouble kind of filling D.J. Augustin's role, role at point guard. They're asking him to switch from the two to the one. Mm -hmm. And uh, Texas really gets after you defensively, and uh, they really lock down St. Joe's tonight. And uh, Texas is going to be tough. They've got a lot of depth. And Rick Barnes is really he's putting out a great product down there. And, uh, <laughs> Ooh, he, he's a tremendous coach. What well, he did for Providence, you know, and, and now, with, uh, now with Texas, I mean, tremendous, tremendous coach. And, yeah. and, and oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm agreeing. Totally agreeing. <laughs> And, and Baylor, hey, you and I were bigging up Baylor in our preview last year to make the tournament, and voila, they did it. Scott Drew has worked wonders with that program, especially after the fiasco that Dave Bliss left behind. Exactly, yeah. He, Drew put together a good recruiting class last year, and, uh, and he's got a great experienced leader in Curtis Gerald. Yeah. Uh, a beautiful player, a great shooter, um, you know, can get in the paint. Nice, really, really nice guard. Kind of a big, bigger two guard. Yeah, yeah, and Ladarius Dunn as well, the sophomore. You know, yep. like yep. just he could score it well, and and it's so great because the uh, I mean the only guy, the only major guy in the rotation I left was Aaron Bruce, and it was so good for Aaron Bruce to be able to make the NCAA's his senior year. You yeah. know, yeah, those guys have been through a lot. The older players on that team. Mm hmm. Absolutely. And Kansas, we the recruits they are bringing in. Uh, to, to, to pretty much replace Mario Chalmers, Darrell Arthur, Darnell Jackson, Russell Robinson, uh, you know, Brandon Rush. And they bring in some people, Mario Little, you know, and, and also too, um, and also Marcus Morris as well. Yeah, you know, they're going to reload. It's going to take, you know, a month or two to get them, get the co co sorry, cohesiveness together. But anytime you have Sharon Collins, Woo! I love Sharon Collins. Oh, the yes, guy's a little diesel, <laughs> um, along with, and I think Cole Aldridge is very underrated. He had a he had an impact on that national championship game. Oh, he did. He did yeah, inside. Very good game, and uh, I think Kansas can be just fine. I believe. Yeah, they're playing Washington right now in the second game of that CBE Final Four. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. They should win that game. They should. You know, definitely. Should. Washington's and, gonna, well, we'll talk about them later. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Missouri, Mike Anderson with, I mean, senior leadership on that team, and they had a big win at SC. Yeah, that's going to be important for them. I think that's the kind of win that will get them in the tournament. And same with Oklahoma State. They, if they do well with this Old, old Spice Classic, get a win or two, I think that's going to, you know, it, you know help their resume come, come March. That's right, and James Anderson is no doubt. I, I think, uh, you know, I remember, because uh, I, I, love, I love his game. He's only a sophomore, and he looks like he can be a, pl a possible uh, um, player of the year candidate and definitely um, the scoring champ for the Big 12. Definitely. Yeah, I think he's definitely a first-team first team all Big 12 performer. He's, a, he's got a great, great stroke, great, great athlete. Yeah, yes, indeed. And and now moving on, oh, Big Ten Conference. Uh, there's a huge gap between the top four teams. We have Purdue, Michigan State, Ohio State, Wisconsin, and the rest of the conference. Yeah, it's, um, it's unfortunate that uh, 
Indiana's really going to bring the conference down, I think. Um, they, <laughs> they've got so many pieces to replace. Uh, oh, boy, the whole lineup. <laughs> the whole the roster. Lineup, yeah, Creek Green's got a tough job to do, but um, Purdue's tough. Michigan State's a good squad. Ohio State, they're going to be good. Wisconsin's actually playing UConn pretty tough right now. Um, so, yeah, so those four teams are good teams, and the rest of the league, uh, you know, I don't even know how many any NIT teams you have in the Big Ten. Maybe maybe Illinois, but yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, Illinois, Minnesota, and Michigan. Michigan, yeah, Michigan. Michigan's getting better. They had a nice win against UCLA. That's right, and Manny Harris, another talent, second-year talent. Yeah, he's kind of a... Uh, doesn't really have a position kind of in between a point guard and a shooting guard, but the guy's a great athlete, and he's, he's kind of a street, street shooter. If he gets hot, he can really, uh, you know, do some damage. Um, they've got a Deshaun Sims is a nice forward they have, nice mm. inside presence. Um, yeah, Michigan's, uh, they're, they're, they're headed in the right direction. Talk about B.J. Mullins. This, this cat, he can be better than Odin and Kufos. For Ohio yeah, State. I, yeah, he's certainly more physical than Kufos. Uh, he brings more offensive skills and a better offensive skill set than Odin for sure. Um, and he, I think, will probably be more better conditioned than Odin. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, Mata's got a great thing going, going in Columbus. The recruits he's bringing in is just it's off the hook. And he's got commitments coming in. Next year, 2010. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, wow. And, and another thing, it's, it's great, too, about Mata. I mean, this Ohio State team will challenge for the title. David Lighty, underrated player from that class of, you know, Conley and Odin. Yeah. Came. Yeah, yeah. He's a guy from Cleveland. Um, he's going to be kind of a stabilizing force, kind of a kind of a glue guy, as Steve Lavin says, a WD-40 guy. <laughs> uh, kind of does everything. Um Good shooter, good athlete. He's going to be really important for uh, to you know get some of those young guys on the same page. Yes, yes, indeed. And and, and Purdue, can they make the Final Four? I don't think they have enough firepower offensively. Um, but they got depth. They got a lot of depth. They do have a lot of depth, no question about it. Um, you know, I think it, what, what happens in the tournament is. Great defensive teams can only get so far. I think Ooh. you need teams that can score. Um, I, I I just don't know if Purdue has enough um, offense. Wow, no, that's that's a great point you just made. That Raymar Morgan, we picked him to be player of the year for Michigan State. He's a local cat. From yeah, your neck of the woods. From, uh, yeah, yeah, he's from uh, Canton McKinley High School. He's uh, he's really had a terrific sophomore year last year, and he's. Picks up right where he left off. The guy's a, you know, just prototypical small forward uh, with nice, good body, rebounds, plays hard, plays defense. Um, developed, he's developed a shot, you know, even up to three-point range. Mm -hmm. So uh, Morgan, Morgan's a very good player. They got a great point guard, Kalen Lucas. Very underrated. Um, he can lead the nation in assists. Assist. Yeah. He's, he's lightning quick, up with as quick as any of the top guards and, and – um, yeah, Michigan State's gonna have a great season. That's right. With Tom Izzo, you know he knows how to. You know how he has. He's the pillar for consistency. Yeah, I think they're a legitimate Final Four team. Mm -hmm. That's right, and especially the way he in the tournament, they're always ready to. They always advance with Izzo. He just knows how to coach in that situation, sudden death. 